I have plates and things. Oh. Okay, I don't have plates. Hey there, my name is Uni, and welcome back to my 1.19 Let's Play series. This episode, we are finally starting my secret project. However, the secret is not revealed yet. That's right. This project that I'm starting on for the first portion of it won't exactly show you what I've got in all these shulker boxes over here because I put everything into this box here. And all these materials, I might have to get more, will create the first room of this entire area and the theme will not be revealed. Well, it kind of will be. Um, most people will get it. Everyone will understand. <laughs> but we're going to be making today a restaurant over here in this corner. And this is going to be an entire network of rooms. And this restaurant will be a big portion of it. But for now, we're going to get all these materials out and about. And I'm even going to start building it right here. And I have some ideas for kind of like, you know, um, it's not a time lapse, but it's more like an update thing where I just fade in from one thing to another. I'm going to see how that goes. Um, the floor is what we're going to start on first. And I have these deep slate tiles. And in particular, if I can find the middle of this. All right. Yeah, cool. So the middle is right here on this torch. So that's nice. I'm going to keep track of that. Let's go ahead and put this down. And I believe this is a three by three area in the middle. Yeah. And I'm just going to be putting down the entire layout of this floor. And dude, I don't really know how I want to do any of this like transitional stuff for this episode. Cause I don't feel like doing a time lapse quite yet. Uh, I'm saving that for the next episode. We are definitely going to need to time lapse, but this one is going to be just, oh man, <laughs> I have got no plan. I'm just building. I'm going, I'm trying to get things done. I'm just, I'm a little bit hyped right now. I'm, I'm ready. I'm got, I got energy for this thing. And, um, I have built this in a single player world. So I've got everything planned out and, oh, already out of blocks. But, um, let's go ahead and actually do a little fancy schmancy thing here. I'm going to sit in this hole and look straight down and we're just going to Get out of the hole now because we have already transitioned and the floor is done. We have this thing right here, which spans the entire perimeter except for the front because this will be a solid wall going from here to here. Also, like to mention, I have actually cleared this out. So now all these crystals are growing. I'm going to make a farm up there in a minute. Uh, not this episode, though, just another day for my own purposes. But the floor outline is a bunch of deep slate. Uh, silk touched and turned around in a bunch of different directions as well as all the deep slate tiles bordering everything and this is our main walkway with our door being right here soon enough and you'll just walk down you can take a seat in any of these little sections and you can have a nice little meal way down at like y13 or wherever the heck i am right now but um so this many are probably confused why is this here uh, you're are, uh, you're about to find out, guys. I'm going to actually. I gotta fix something. I just realized this is this has to be over here, and this has to be solid fill as well. So I'm gonna fix that, and then I'll be back in just a second, and we will have the walls going up. Well, would you look here? I have some diamonds that I completely skipped over, but we have pretty much completed now this entire area. I have made. A black and blank wall with no context yet to what this is actually going to look like. But now we have to build the interior wall that borders this entire area. And then we can actually get started on the real meat of the project. All right. And now we can get started on that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get back over here to my little spot where I did my transition last time. And we are going to let it take its course. And I'm actually going to do this transition while I'm talking. So here we go. We have now got ourselves an entire wall on the inside of our restaurant. And we have this nice little shading pattern here from a light wall of light blue to the concrete and then back to wall, back to concrete, getting darker and darker until we get to a nice deep blue here. 
and then it goes all the way back and we go back to the light blue wool. So now the task is to go around and actually dig out little spots here and there that actually have little peepholes into this thing. And this, this is going to be a giant aquarium surrounding the entire eatery. And it will be, I believe, um, one, two, three, four, five windows going around the whole thing. We don't want it to be perfectly square or anything, and we don't want anything to be kind of like sitting alone in a weird looking way. So this, if we pull it back this way, yeah, it gives a little more character to this, uh, this little window I got going on. And then we'll just fill it in here with a bit of glass. Let's go ahead and get that. And then there is going to be light sources. I have finally collected some uh, frog lights. I have a nice little area next to my nether fortress where I just kind of wait around with my little froggies. And I should probably get out of here. There we go. Let's put these back. I believe that. And then this one will be glass. And boom. We have ourselves a nice little window to look into our aquarium. And this thing wraps around the entire backside, as you've seen, and goes all the way around. We'll even have these corner windows here with the frog lights going around this rim. And I'm going to go ahead and get that completely finished. And then the next thing we got to work on is the ceiling. Because the ceiling, I have designed a really cool thing. And I think you're going to love it. Well, now we're on top of it. We are very close to getting the ceiling going. And I am doing the last few bits for this area. I believe that this piece goes like that. I want to say so. And then I got to fix that there. If it isn't like that, I'll come back and do that later. But let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. I am perfectly, perfectly aligned. Nice and crouched. It's just, we're not going to move a single inch. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and jump down and check out what I've got done so far. We have all the walls and this is now filled in. We have the glass looking into the aquariums and we have the rim surrounding it with the frog lights installed. They actually also come out from the top here. That's why we have this nice little, uh, this kind of upper area. And then there's this entire wall here that's completely missing, but I think that's going to be the last part we do before we make the furniture. Um, and now I'm going to actually start up on the ceiling here because this is going to be the probably the most designed portion of this build. Um, it's going to take, ooh, man, this is going to take like maybe 30 minutes to, to even get started on this last wall here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the beams going across and I'm going to show you the design I have in mind. All right, we've done it. We now have support beams going across the entire ceiling. And I have the bumped up area to have the light coming through. And I'm thinking it looks pretty nice, pretty decent. But what I want to show you right now is the scaffolding here. And what I want to do is I want to get these spruce stairs like so. Let's see. Just like that. And we got to come around. Oh, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be so difficult with all my scaffolding. I'm going to have to move around and create a network of like... A bunch of these things going everywhere. So, like, let's do here. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Let's like go like that, go like that, and like that. So, I have some room to, you know, shuffle around and whatnot. Let's actually get one going this way, too. Okay. Yeah, that works. I forget how many it supports, but this should be fine. So, now we come through here, we turn it around, we have it start going this way. Now, let me get more. <laughs> I need so much scaffolding for this. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, I'm going to switch those around as well. Let's get back over here. And you boys got to get facing the correct way. There we go. Okay. So that should be like that. And then I believe if we tap it off like this, just one, two, three, that should be good. Okay. And then we come in here and we kind of follow the same pattern I've been going with. We're bringing this one out a little bit further. Just two blocks more. There we go. Okay. I really need to um, organize my scaffolding here. All right. There we go. And now we just turn this around. 
Every now and again, I fall apart. Okay. And essentially what we're doing is we're creating like a little sort of system. Let me get more scaffolding. <laughs> I need so much of this stuff. Uh, we're creating this little system that kind of spans across and fingers out. Um, I want to say this would end right there. No, actually, we're going to... Yeah, we're taking that out. Um, yeah, that should be good for now. Let's take all this down. And these actually, at, in the end, I am going to be using these scaffolding as little chairs. I'll show you that in a little bit. But here we have, like this. Um, I might put that back one, but these are essentially just little things that kind of jut out. And they span across here, but they only go to the middle. And then the other side's going to come out too. And you'll see, I'm just going to go ahead and build it all right now. Let's do another one of my little fancy uh, transition things, and you will see the finished product in three, two, one. There we go. We now have it all done, and look at this ceiling. It is so good. I am loving everything about it. I even have my end rods. I had a couple of um, chorus fruit that I cooked up with some uh, blaze rods. You get those. But now we only have two things left for this episode entirely. And that is finish up this back wall here. And then I guess, oh yeah, I got to make furniture too. Make that three. Because the last thing after those two is to fill up our tanks and get things going and completed. But let me show you real quick how I'm making these tables. I don't know. This might not be the final spot for these tables in particular. Oops. I always forget that these are directional. Stand over that. Put that down and then we put these just one block away from the table itself let's see where did i put my trap doors i believe yes they're right here and this is a little trick i like to do for the actual chairs if we take those off like that put those underneath get rid of these this will finally be facing down like that instead of like this if you were to just have that I don't like that piece being there. I like it being at the bottom. So I've designed it in a way to where we now have the table and chairs like this. And you can even go in and sit down. Um, <laughs> kind of like this, I guess. Um, yeah, I suppose. I mean, if I sink down, it does that. But it doesn't matter. We're going to make a bunch of these. We're going to also get started on this wall here. And hopefully by the end of this, It'll be looking really nice, and we'll, all we'll have left after that is to just fill this in with a bunch of fish and a bunch of vegetation. So let's get cracking on that. Okay, so I may have cracked a little bit too hard here. Um, <laughs> we have completed the entire thing, and I've laid out all the chairs. We got everything, just these trap doors, the thing I just showed earlier, and then we have all these little barrels here with some, what are they, pressure plates? Yeah, pressure plates. And then I believe we have this. This is the little uh, podium for taking people's uh, seats and reservations and whatnot. This right here is the door to the kitchen, which, of course, does not exist yet. However, I have actually started digging out an area for the kitchen that I'll do on, like, maybe a live stream or off camera or something. Maybe I will do a live stream of that. But the other thing that I actually spent a really long time on um, that I thought would be boring to show, but I might as well show off the results, is the entire aquarium. And the coral was the part that, I mean, of course, I had to go collect. But all these fish, too, this took a while. They tend to spawn in big chunks and groups, and so they take up the mob cap, and I can never actually find enough variations of them. And so I think I had like maybe 18 of them. And they all tend to just clump up together. But I think there's another group over here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. They're right here. There's a little clownfish right there. Along with the uh, blue tang, I think that's called. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I've got all these little things dangling from the ceiling. We have all the chairs. We have the entire floor. It's completely uh, done, I would say. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I have plates and things Okay, I don't have plates. Um, <laughs> I have, uh, what are they called? Oh yeah, these flower pots here. Let's go ahead and hang some of these up real, real fast. 
Well, I can't put anything on these tables, but I figured out that I can actually put them on the barrels. So that's what I've gone and done over here. And I've left some of them with pressure plates. But, you know, every now and again, we have a little item of food just uh, scattered around. I mean, you can pretend there's people in the chairs and whatnot. But we've also got the classic little hanging um, flower. Uh, what would you call that? Like a flower pot? Yeah. And then I wanted to put one right here with a little bamboo stick. Yeah, nice and cute. Um, and then we have, last but not least, the little trap doors that go on here. Oops, I put that one on wrong. Let's go fix that real fast. And there we go. I think we're done. This entire place is complete. And I think that is finally where we'll end the episode off. But let's actually jump onto a table here and make it look really cool. Uh, so this has been Uni. I am jogging it out today. Make sure to like and subscribe the video. And I will see you guys next time.